everyone. Happy Monday. It's Connor here. Welcome back. I hope you're all having a great start off to your week so far. All right, so it is time to do a few candle reviews today, and we are going to be finally starting to dig into these new Goose Creek candle reviews. So if you missed it, I did a Goose Creek haul last week. I am giving Goose Creek another try. Um, if you watched the video, I kind of went more into it in depth into it. But I never really had a issue with Goose Creek. I just kind of fell off of the products, I guess, and I just didn't really go back to purchase. I feel like in the home fragrance world, there's just so much going on, and um, I feel like it's already hard enough to keep up with the brands that you love. So sometimes, you know, venturing out and trying new things is just um, very hard to find the time to do. So um, I really wanted to make it a goal to give Goose Creek another try and to place a fall order. A lot of you had been encouraging me to do that. So that is what I did and I did pick up some candles. And I would say so far, I'm actually really happy with the performance on these. Um, I feel like each candle kind of has its own performance um, to talk about. So I am gonna be doing post burn in depth individual reviews for each. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna do two today. We're gonna start off here with Spiked Pumpkin Donut, which I do realize that I have been saying Spiced Pumpkin Donut. I just don't think I looked at that label and I guess I just guessed that it said Spiced, but it is Spiked Pumpkin Donut, which I'm actually going to address that because I didn't really realize that it was like a boozy scent. I don't pick up any booziness in here at all, so don't let that scare you away, but I'll talk about that a little bit later. And then I'm also going to upload my review of Carnival Cake today. So those are the two reviews, and then I'm actually going to be uploading the other like three later on this week, so stay tuned for that. I have been burning these um, pretty good over the weekend, so I feel like I'm now ready to share my thoughts. But yeah, we're starting off with Spiced Spiked pumpkin donut. See, I'm going to mess up on this, you guys. It's spiked pumpkin donut. Um, I will leave a link in the description box for the Goose Creek website if you're interested in shopping with them. Um, they are having a sale right now. I feel like Goose Creek is always having a sale. Definitely do not shop full price with Goose Creek. Um, so their candles are on sale for $12.99 right now. They're like Bath & Body Works sales 24-7, but like the good Bath & Body Works sales when they're like $12.50, $11.50. I think the lowest I've seen the Goose Creek candles go is like eight something, which is very low. But um, I definitely think that one of the ways that Goose Creek kind of sells their candles is based off of that price point. That is obviously very low. Um, so I think I got mine for like 11 something. I think that was the deal that was going on. Um, and so, yeah, anyways, guys, spiked pumpkin donut here. I will leave a link in the description. I don't have a discount code or anything with Goose Creek. I'm not an affiliate. I am just a fan, I guess. I'm just a reviewer reviewing candles that I purchased on my own. These were not sent in PR. Um, I did purchase these on my own. But yeah, let's go ahead and get right into the review here. All right, so I'm going to read off the description and the notes, tell you what I smell. We'll talk about burn, performance, strength of throw, and then we will wrap it up. All right, so Spiked Pumpkin Donut says that it smells like deliciously spiked donuts are deep fried and covered in sugar. So yummy. Your prominent scent notes, that's what they're calling it in here. The prominent scent notes are spiced pumpkin, apple, fried donut, cider, and vanilla bean. Um, so what do I smell in here? I smell a really delicious like pumpkin donut scent mixed with a little bit of apple cider in the background um, and definitely some powdered sugar on top, I would say. It is a very, very delicious gourmand scent, and this is definitely something that is right up my alley, and it's definitely something that I would repurchase. Um, I knew with placing the order that I would enjoy this scent most likely because I just love a good fall gourmand, and some of my favorite fall gourmands are the like cider donut type scents, and that's honestly exactly what this is. Um, let's start with talking about that spiked pumpkin note. Again, I don't get any spike to this. There's no booziness. There's no alcohol that I smell in here. 
Um, it's more of a spice donut, um, and so I think that that title is a little bit confusing, but it is uh, not boozy to my nose at all. If you have had this one and you smell that, um, let me know down below what you're smelling, but I just personally don't smell anything from it. Um, but yeah, it's a very, very nice spiced pumpkin, which obviously mixes well with that apple note. Um, you do definitely get that like doughy type scent. I would say it's more of like the doughy than like the fried, um, but it does definitely have some of those like fried components in the background. Um, you'll actually see in the carnival cake review, I think that that one is definitely more of like a fried type scent. But this one is really delicious, you guys. Um, this is kind of like an epitome of fall scent. I feel like this just smells like a classic fall candle. So if you're wanting to give Goose Creek a try, then I think that this would be a really great one to start with. Um, it's just a really delicious scent and all of the gourmand lovers, I think you will really, really enjoy this one. Um, it's a little bit cakey. It's definitely a uh, fall. The spice in here is not overly done, which I appreciate. Um, there's definitely some spice notes. Um, well, actually there's not even spicy notes in here. I mean, it's a spiced pumpkin, but it's not a ton of spice in here. It's definitely a warmer gourmand spice, if anything. And, um, it's just a really delicious scent. You guys, this would definitely be a repurchase for me. So I'm giving the scent two thumbs up. All right, let's talk about the actual performance and burn on this one, because um, I definitely have some thoughts. So let's start with the burn time. I have um, been burning this to right here. This is where I'm at, right about at the, at the halfway point. Um, I did want to burn it a little bit more before I reviewed it. I was hoping to get through like three fourths of it, like down here, because I thought that that would probably be a better review since um, it is a new candle formula to me, pretty much. Um, but, oh well, we're at the halfway point, we're doing the review and it is what it is. Um, let me go ahead and show you guys the top here, what it looks like. So here's our burn. Um, as you can see, there is a little bit of um, some wax residue or not wax, wick residue. So a little bit of darkness in that wax. Um, so the wicks on this one, I have been trimming the wicks pretty good for each burn. Oops, sorry. Um, these are definitely big wicks. They do form very big mushrooms. They form a lot of carbon residue. So um, making sure that you're trimming the wicks on all of these Goose Creek candles that I've had, I've had to trim the wicks. So that's definitely very important for these candles. If you weren't, then I do think that these would soot like crazy because they do have very big, thicker wicks. Um, some of them definitely have more thick wicks than others. Like for example, I think that this one definitely has a thicker wick than the carnival cake. And you can kind of tell that by like how big the flame gets or how much you actually have to trim off. You can just tell pretty clearly for some candles, oh wow, I really have to trim this one a little bit more where some of them don't form as big of that carbon residue mushroom top. But um, yeah, this one I've definitely been having to trim. Sootiness has not been a problem though for me. I've had like no issue with like sootiness or smoking from this one. It's done pretty good in that lane. Um, the only issue that I've had for like the last burn is that uh, wick residue, residue in the wax. Um, for the first like four or five burns, this one had no issues at all. It was a very clean burn, but when I uh, lit it up yesterday, um, I left it the same amount of time burning, which is about three hours. Um, and I just came back to go blow it out and it was definitely a little bit uh, messier. So if you burn these candles, let me know down below in the comments, do they get a little bit dirtier the more you burn them? Because I am noticing a little bit of that residue in the wax. I don't mind the residue as long as it does not affect the fragrance. Um, I know with a lot of Bath & Body Works candles, they used to get a lot of residue in the wax for me, which would kind of give it like a smokier smell, which I definitely did not appreciate. Um, and that has not happened with this one yet, but it's definitely getting a little bit murkier in that wax just because of that residue. So um, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to limit my burn time a little bit more, probably two hours. I have been doing three hours, similar to the Bath & Body Works candles. Um, these candles do pull out pretty quickly um, and I have been burning them in a hurricane. So that is another thing. 
But um, yeah, I think I'm going to limit the burn time and I think I'm also just gonna really make sure I'm getting those wicks trimmed just so that I can really prevent that residue in the wax. But um, overall, I'm actually very impressed with the performance on these. I have not had any like puny wick issues. There hasn't been a sitting issue. So um, I'm pretty impressed. Um, as far as the strength and throw goes, this one is kind of like a solid seven, seven and a half, which I feel like that's kind of what I get normally from Bath & Body Works candles. Um, obviously, these are very similar to the Bath & Body Works candles. I feel like that's kind of like part of what Goose Creek, um, it's kind of like their company. They kind of don't copy Bath & Body Works. Like, I don't want to make it sound like a bad thing, but I feel like a lot of their um, like packaging and scents, they're kind of like inspired off of Bath & Body Works candles. So um, I'm just going to compare them a lot to the Bath & Body Works candles. But um, yeah, I would say the strength and throw is about the same as a Bath & Body Works candle. It's about a seven, seven and a half. It is a three wick candle, so it does pretty well. Um, I've been burning this primarily in my kitchen and it definitely fills up the kitchen and definitely um, will, you know, come out into the hallway and fill up the room and the house pretty nicely. So um, yeah, I would give it a seven and a half for strength and I would say about a seven for throw. Um, so definitely impressed in that lane. I've not really had any like strength and throw issues with any of them yet, but they are all a little bit different. Um, but yeah, I would say that these burn pretty well for me. Um, other than that wick residue, that's the only issue that I've really had with these. There's no puny wick, no sootiness, nothing like that. So um, yeah, I would definitely give it two thumbs up. Um, I will obviously continue to update you guys on the burn of these as um, I continue to burn them more down. I do want to keep burning these and probably finish them a little bit later this week. So I will update you guys on Saturday in the weekly wax chat and just let you know how the burn has been doing. Um, as we know with Bath & Body Works candles, they kind of like to turn on you once you get to the end. So um, I'm interested to see if Goose Creek candles act the same way. But um, yeah, overall, I'm really impressed and I'm glad that I gave Goose Creek another try and um, I would definitely repurchase from them and I'm excited to see um you know what they have to bring for the holidays so um yeah let me know down below in the comments if you've tried spiked pumpkin donut I would love to know your thoughts on this one if you had and let me know your overall experience with the burn performance on Goose Creek candles I would really love to compare my burn performance to your burn performance so let me know down below in the comments Check out that description box for a lot of good links and great information. Um, and yeah, thank you for watching. Like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new here, and stay tuned for one more candle review a little bit later today of Goose Creek Carnival Cake. See you guys then. Bye.